How are you? Welcome. It's Ticket Tuesday, and uh, we're starting it up tonight with the uh, Rolling Stones, in case you couldn't figure it out. I had a couple of people who'd asked me after one of the earlier videos we had done um, about Open G tuning. So the Rolling Stones do a ton of songs in Open G tuning. So if you're a guitar player, Open G is probably the easiest thing you can play and teach yourself on. So grab yourself a guitar, tune your guitar to Open G. I'm not going to go through all that now because most of you are not going to care. You're going to say, why are you talking about this? But if you do play guitar and you're interested, grab yourself a guitar, Open G tuning. You can play probably a quarter of any Rolling Stone song. So Ticket Tuesday starts tonight. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm more relieved today than I've been in the last several days just because of apparently we hit six of seven of the governor's benchmarks here so we can start to open up and like most of everyone I got to imagine um, I'm as stir crazy maybe a little crazier than the rest but I'm the one sitting here doing the dopey video so here we are it's ticket Tuesday and we're going to start off tonight with uh, as I grab into the big bag of tickets I grabbed out this one tonight it was uh, Rolling Stones September 17th, it was a Saturday night. It was at the Pepsi Arena in Albany, New York. Uh, 2005, 7.30 show start. The Stones, and there's the ticket. Sitting in uh, section Double D. If you know where Double D is, there it was. And that, at the time, was the most I'd ever paid for a concert ticket which was $186 before fees. And I think after that, it came to over 200 bucks for uh, just one ticket. So we had bought two tickets, and that was a $500 night just to see the Rolling Stones. And that was the last proper uh, Rolling Stones tour they did to support a record, which was their album in 2005. It was called A Bigger Bang, and it was a tremendous, tremendous set list. I've got it here for you tonight if you're interested. Uh, First song, as always, I think since 1981, has been Start Me Up. And they did this cool thing in the middle of the show <clears throat> where they had this moving stage that started off at the, the main stage and moved out into the middle of the arena on some kind of wheels or trolley or something, and it was great. They did this whole section with Miss You, Oh No Not You Again, She's So Cold, and Honky Tonk Women before they rolled it back and uh, got into the, the meat of the, the end of the show. So that was really cool. And Oh No Not You Again, if you don't know that song, look it up on YouTube, look it up on uh, Spotify. It is a great song from 2005. And I used to have it as a ringtone for a specific person. Whenever this person called, I would have that ringtone come up. So I go, oh, Jesus, not you again. So that was it. From uh, 2005, the Rolling Stones, our first ticket of the night on Ticket Tuesday. Um, the second ticket of the night, <clears throat> I'm going to put the guitar down and grab the other one because I'm going to need that one shortly. But the second ticket of the night comes from um, Don Henley. Now, I've never seen the Eagles in concert because back in 1994 when they got back together again, um, they did that whole tour and they were charging 100 bucks a ticket. So at that point, I was like, 100 bucks for a ticket? I didn't want to go. Um, because I'd already seen the man that I wanted to see, which was Don Henley. And I saw him back in 1989 and... There's my VIP meet and greet pass from Don Henley at Saratoga Performing Arts Center in 1989. I can't find the ticket. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. But uh, Don Henley that night was a tremendous show. Oh, getting ahead of myself. And it was a lot of stuff from the End of the Innocence album, which is, I think it's his best solo album. There's some great songs on, on that record. Um, including the title song, the, the End of the Innocence. But there's a great love song. It's called The Last Worthless Evening. Uh, New York Minute was one of the songs from that album that he played that night. And, of course, he banged out the hits. He played uh, uh, All I Want to Do is Dance. And the last song they closed with that night was Desperado. So it was a tremendous show. And one of the things that I learned, um, the song was featured that night as well, was this song, Sunset Grill, was actually... A place on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles and when I went to California I think it was five years ago and wandering down Sunset uh, Sunset Strip and there's the Sunset Grill and that's what the song was all about that place where a 
the crazy people went to in the middle of the night after a night of uh, partying and a night of hanging out. They all wound up down at the Sunset Grill. So the other one, I've got two more tonight. This one, uh, go back to 1998. And the big thing on uh, TV right now, if you watch ESPN, is the Michael Jordan documentary series that's been going on. They're up to episode eight now. If you haven't watched it, it's tremendous TV. You learn a lot about uh, a guy who is very driven and very much uh, the most competitive person you're probably ever going to meet in your life. And the one chance and the, the, the only time I had seen him play um, is actually tied to what that series is. And that goes back to 1998. It was the first round, the Eastern Conference playoffs. Um, when they went on to beat the Jazz that year, they swept the New Jersey Nets. And I was at the game that they swept the mat. Uh, it was down at the Meadowlands. They uh, put a whooping on the Nets, 116-101. to 101. Jordan had, I want to say it was like 39 or 40 points that night. Rodman had a big rebounding game. And uh, so that is my Michael Jordan. That's the only Michael Jordan I got. And here's the ticket. There it is. Game A1. My sole... Michael Jordan basketball game. Um, finally, <clears throat> we'll uh, end tonight's Ticket Tuesday with uh, uh, a ticket from 2010. This one goes, it's, it's almost 10 years old now. It's May 18th from 2010 at the Palace Theater. And uh, not as expensive as the Rolling Stones tickets. This ticket was only uh, $97.50. And this was to see Neil Young with uh, special guest Burt Jenks at the Palace Theater. And here is that bad boy. It's in the, the pile of tickets. Uh, I don't even want to say it's a pile anymore because it's more like a bag. It is multiple bags of tickets. And I keep digging through them and go, oh, crap, I forgot about that one. So Neil Young that night, it was a great show. It was all acoustic. He was playing acoustic guitar and he was playing organ and he was playing piano. And I was disappointed because there was one song that I've listened to quite a bit recently. I've been trying to play it on the guitar, and if I mess it up, I'll mess it up. I, I wish I could sing it, but I can't carry a tune. Uh, I can carry your water. I can carry your books, but I can't carry a tune. So if you wonder why I don't sing on any of these, because I can't. I can play guitar a little bit, have fun with that, and... That's all I got. So I had rediscovered this song recently from the Yuma record, which is probably one of his most underrated records. It's from 1975. And this song, uh, Don't Cry No Tears, was one that I've never seen him play in concert. I don't know that he ever has, but uh, it's a favorite. There's your homework assignment tonight. Go listen to Neil Young's Don't Cry No More Tears. So that show was pretty cool. And I went with uh, one of my father's friends who worked uh, at IBM with him for a long, long time. His name is Paul Seitz. And Paul, years ago, I uh, went to his house. And Paul is a big, big music guy. And he has this amazing sound system. And he played a song for me uh, from Van Morrison, uh, it's the title song from the album Tupelo Honey, and I'd never heard it quite like this before on this amazing sound system. So there's your other homework assignment. You can go listen to Yuma from Neil Young and go listen to Tupelo Honey from Van Morrison, and you will get the lowdown on tonight's Ticket Tuesday. I hope I didn't bore you to death. I hope I gave you a moderate amount of entertainment, but I know this, the computer... Ten seconds to self-destruct. ...is telling me it's time to get off. It is saying good night. That is all. Have a great night. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Talk to you soon.